This is how I set up my experiment. I got two half sheet layers of paper towels and placed them into the quart sized bag. Each paper towel was dampened and slightly dried so it didn't drip water. I label each bag appropriately according to whether it was to be put in the light or dark. I also labeled each seed so I could keep track of their growth. In order to keep the seeds that were to be kept in the dark sealed from light, I covered them in aluminum foil. These seeds were placed in my living room on a table. The seeds receiving light were placed outside in a partially shaded area. These particular seeds are called snow peas. On the first day of my experiment, I noticed no significant change within my seeds. The seeds were checked at 10.40 a.m. On day two, there is still no change within my seeds, and I checked my seeds at 12.47 p.m. On day three, seed number five was the first to germinate. Still, none of the seeds that are in the light germinated. And the seeds on day three were checked at 2 o'clock p.m. On day four, seed six was the second seed to germinate that was in the dark. Seed one also germinated, making it the first seed to germinate that was in the light. Day four, the seeds were checked at 6.15 p.m. On day five, seeds three, four, and eight had germinated, leaving only seeds two and seven that still need to germinate. And on day five, they were checked at 2.46 p.m. On day six, seeds two and seven still hadn't germinated, but the other seeds continued to grow. The seeds were checked at 3.27 p.m. On day seven, seeds two and seven both germinated, but I noticed after a closer look that seed seven had grown a lot of mold on it, and they were both checked at 3.50 p.m. And that concludes my experiment. My problem was to see whether or not light exposure will increase the rate at which the seed germinates. Here are my variables for my experiment. The independent variable was the light, the dependent variable was the growth, and the control variables were the amount of water given and the amount of seeds. The experimental group were the seeds that did not receive any light, and the control group were the seeds that received a normal amount of light. In conclusion, the amount of light that each seed receives does not affect the rate at which the seeds will germinate. How can I improve my experiment? When removing my seeds from the bag, I noticed that the bag with the no light seeds was slightly open. The increased amount of oxygen could have allowed the seeds to germinate quicker. They also could have been checked at a consistent time every day, and I should have put the ones in the light in a little more of a lit area versus a shaded area, and I could have added more water, which may have speeded up the rate at which the seeds grew. This first chart shows the order in which the seeds germinated. On day three, seed five germinated, day four, six, and one did. Day five, seeds three, four, and eight germinated, and on day seven, seeds two and seven germinated. My second chart is a comparison of lengths of seed sprouts after seven days. Seed one was three centimeters, seed two was 2.5 centimeters, seed three was 0.5, seed four was one, seed five was one centimeter, seed six was three, seed seven was 0.5 centimeters, and seed eight was four centimeters. <laughs> 